Hi folks, it's me again, Adnan from Exchange ID Pro. In this video, I will compare how Exchange 2019 and Exchange Online Client Access Rule are better than any firewall. So let's take some scenario. Uh, have you been into a situation where you want to block access to Exchange Web Services or ActiveSync client for a particular region? So here is an example. Let's say if you're a tenant in US based and your, if your firm is only US based and your employees are also US based, then your manager or the CEO of the company would say, you know, they just want you to allow the employees who are located or based out of US should be able to access Exchange, uh, ActiveSync and Exchange Web Services. So there wouldn't be any uh, sense then why would an, uh, would an application or ActiveSync will be allowed outside the US. In that case, uh, if you have Exchange Online, you can leverage client access rule where you can not only define the IP ranges, you can also filter based on the users, based on the services, it could be a distribution group, uh, there are many creative ways of doing it and same thing on on premises if you have a firewall it doesn't mean that you take out the firewall rules but on top of that uh, you can leverage client access rule on your exchange 2019 and, and leveraging those client access rules so now let's take a look what's there in exchange 2019 and exchange online client access rule so here on the website on the microsoft docs you can see this article was published Client access rule in Exchange Online, and it's tell you can allow and block a client access rule. You can allow from a specific IP address, and you can block all other active and clients if they are coming. Let's say in my example, outside US IP ranges. It could be your VPN, it could be a private network, so you can define those ranges in client access rule. Same thing applies to Exchange Web Services, Outlook Web Address Book, Offline Address Book, and so on and so forth. Now take a look in the Exchange 2000. 2019 let me just add that here in 2019 it looks a bit different but you can block the exchange admin center for user in a specific country or region you can also prevent exchange control center and also you can allow and block access to exchange ESC from here using client access rule now how these things work is simply uh, if you have worked on these kind of scenarios if you remember uh, doing working on um, TMG uh, the reverse proxy basically you apply the condition there are then exceptions and the action is taken and when you create those policies basically they are working based on the priority same thing here condition exception action and priority these rules can be changed if you change their priority so you have to be very careful when you create those client access rules you gotta make sure you test them thoroughly because if you uh, mismanage or reconfigure the priorities these rules may act very differently and this is how you can evaluate it and more details are there uh, with your internal network uh, if you have exchange web services publishes publishing to some other application and how soon it will take to impact so I'll put those link in the video in my in the description but uh that's really a great value add on top of the firewall you can leverage in exchange online and you can also leverage in exchange 2019 deployment i hope this video was informative if you like it please share subscribe to my channel and follow me on twitter thank you so much